kind of want to try a new Neo Vim because I've been, I wanted something a little more universal because most of my Vims kind of geared towards Linux. And I really would want it to be more universal so I can use it both in Linux and Windows. So no matter what OS I'm in, I still got all my bindings because I feel like a toddler hunting around for what I'm trying to do. Check this out. Lazy Vim. It's a really cool little project that does all the Vim bindings for you and it does a little bit better job and has better customizability than my Vim. There's just a couple little settings I probably will need to take in once I do it. So let's go look at it. So this will put uh, home.config in Vim back. So let's redo my Vim because right now my Vim's kind of all over the place and all based on Linux. Let's take this, which is local app data in Vim. This backs up our current Vim configuration, which we'll have to grab like Copilot and other stuff that we've been working on. But I want to try it out this because it looks so cool. So we're going to move all that, clear out our Vim config. That's what this does. Let's clone the starter in Vim to here. So it puts it in local app data in Vim. And you can actually just take this real fast. And I'm going to launch into that folder. Oh, um, it's actually weird. If you ever do this in Windows, it's percent sign local app data percent sign, I think. Ah, look at that. Sweet. So that's where our files will reside. Why I'd like to pull that up is we're just going to change just a subtle thing here. And then we're going to remove git. This is just going to take it out of the Neo Vim or, or the lazy Vim git and just kind of flush it, which is fine because then we're going to add our stuff to it. And then we just start it. So perfect. You don't necessarily have to remove that if you just always wanted to stay up to date, but uh, we will. So this is Lazy Vim. Kind of looks cool. Kind of dig it. We just got to add a few things. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, sexy. <laughs> All right, so now we have this. Uh, what are we compiling still? Let's quit. Let's go in Vim again. And this time we're going to do check health just to make sure we don't have anything missing. And we are missing a few things. FD and lazy git not installed. Let's uh, fix those. Coco install FD and we'll grab that. Uh, ooh, dirt to dirt. We got to use that from elevated prompt. Coco install FD lazy. Is it lazy Vim? Can't remember. Lazy Git. My bad. What's lazy Git? Has have people used that? Must be like a push pull fetch or something for git that is able to implement with lazy lazy vim probably something along those sorts i'd guess all right highlighting tree setter vim problems hmm Got NeoVim, that's good. We got some errors down here. Let's fix this. Could not load parser for language bash. Well, kind of kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, lots of parsing errors. Let's see, Python 3 is good and PineVin is installed. We are missing NeoVim, it's optional, but let's go ahead and grab it. NPM install G via NeoVim. All right. Tree sitter. Yeah, I think we can do better than this. 
This, this health check did not look all that great. The sea of red does not give me comfort. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's quit out. Uh, uh, I guess let's do an, another invim. Let's check health again. All right, Lua Parser is installed this time. Okay, okay. It's not not quite. Okay, better. Not a complete sea of red. Just a couple warnings with tree setter and the parsing markdown, which is kind of kind of needed. Tree setter markdown parser not installed. So I think we can do like a Mason Mason. Mason. Okay. The reason why that was not installed was because uh NPM package wasn't installed. I think that I think that should give us, right? Check health. We're missing unzip now. Let's grab that. Is there is that a package? Yes. Sometimes I love how a lot of the Linux packages have made its way into Windows. It's so darn nice. All right, great. All right. We're missing Go. Uh, I think that's just Coco install Golang. Golang. Yeah, and Peter, the funny thing is on that uh, PowerShell profile, looking at uh, looking at this, what I ended up doing with this is I went ahead and made aliases for all the Linux commands I use. So when I'm like long listing, I kind of made it like a cheater way version of just listing files in the directory where LS gives me the full directory. <laughs> you can even like cat like profile, which is like a weird implementation of it's like a bastardized version of Linux bash baked into PowerShell. So Here's all the functions like DF. We'll use Git volume, which is disk free in Linux for those that don't know. So I, I took a lot of my Windows and then I took a lot of my, my Linux knowledge and like combined them into this weird profile. Unzip goes ahead and converts like this is just bonkers version of unzipping a file using this Git child item thing that PowerShell requires you to do. A curl, obviously, we just like curl to work. Uh, that's the IX function too, to, so I can push stuff to chat directly. So let's say I wanted you guys to have this. I can just do an IX profile. Boom. This should grab my entire profile, bundle it up, throw it right into a directory. And then when you click on this, this is my entire PowerShell profile. And I can just take this, drop it into chat. Bam. Bam. And now you have my entire PowerShell profile with all my aliases and everything. So if you just click on that link in chat, bam, it's this there. I just, every, every stream I'm like, IXIO, amazing. So fun, fun stuff. Yeah, and also the syntax is just so much easier to remember. Trying to remember all the PowerShell syntax is maddening at times. Uh, but anyways see how we're doing on our golang install looks like it's all there you might have to close reopen shell that's fine i don't think there was anything else really uh needed uh this actually marked down inline and all that should be fixed um let's do another check health should be even less this time unzip we'll have to relaunch the shell same with Go. Yeah, about the same. Okay. Uh, anyways, a little bit better. Uh, what's the config? Let's see. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I like it. That's neat. If I go file project. FF just gives me the project. And then if we just go F, so you got find files, 
What about Neo tree? So F E brings up Neo tree so I can browse them around a little bit. So F E drops it holding just that we got a little bit of a hunt. That's neat that it kind of, you don't have to remember it exactly. Uh, what about find project files? Does not look like that's a thing in here. Unfortunate. All right. So now if we just vim our project again, we do a find files and we're just going to get program CS. Let's see if it can grab like our C sharp stuff. Does it do a better job than my old vim? I feel like this will. And then for tab, we just open up a new one. And for this, let's go F E. We're going to go back a directory. Cool method. I, I like lazy vim. I, I think there's a little bit more, more my speed. I, I I'm going to drop my vim configuration and uh, switch over to lazy vim. I feel like these people do way better job than I ever will have time to do. You can go far with them, but how much time do you have to figure it all out? I think that's a good point, Peter. And that's the thing is I want something that's kind of there. When we look at uh, Lazy Vim, the cool thing about it is when you look at the key maps, it has the which key uh, finding or binding in here that's just really, really neat. So you type space, the leader key. And then whatever you're looking for, and it'll be like, hey, if you want to go into tabs, test tab. If you want to go into find files, you press F. And then when you do that, it goes into a deeper sub command. So it's easier to remember your bindings if you're not in Vim all the time. Like for me, I'm all over the place. And uh, sometimes I'm VS Code. Sometimes I'm in Visual Studio Community. And this is kind of a good way to kind of fly around but learn it. And then obviously this, I, what I need is just a giant sheet just over here, somewhere on this side of the wall, just bam, right there with all the bindings. I'll just print this out and uh, just need to learn all of it. Just, just all of it. Yeah. Just all these commands. Just got to put that in my brain. Should be plenty of room in there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to learn.